Iraq is falling into the hands of terrorists. The Obama administration is considering airstrikes to crush the insurgency. Would military action provoke a retaliatory attack on the U.S.? Online backers of the militant group ISIS are threatening that it will. And there's a dire prediction from our former vice president. Dick Cheney fears another attack on America over the next decade, this time even deadlier than 9-11. Are you indicating, in fact, that we could be on path or we are on track for something worse than 9-11? I think that's a possibility. You know, I can't say specifically at this point when something like that might happen, but it would be foolish for us to ignore the extent to which there are people who uh, terror-sponsoring states who have, in fact, tried to provide uh, uh, nuclear technology. So it's, it's, you know, it's spreading, and uh, access to those, uh, uh, those kinds of capabilities, I think, is on the increase. Cheney blames the administration for not cracking down enough on terror. As we see this proliferation of terrorists, we've also at the same time had an administration that didn't want to recognize there was a problem. They like to say, well, we got bin Laden problem solved, or we've decimated al-Qaeda. What they've decimated is the U.S. Defense Department. Okay, Greg, over here, to my left, you were nodding and nodding. I agree. Uh, you have to assume that terror is forever, because radical Islam is forever. So you got to treat it like your front lawn. You watch it grow, and then away you mow. The problem with the White House is, is they care about as much, um, as much about terror as they do about trees. They have the priorities of an MSNBC intern with the intellect of a hacky sack. And I think that's where he's right. We, have to, we always have to be diligent. And we can't say it's on the decline, because that's what they love to hear. They're willing to die. These people are willing to die to destroy our lives. We aren't willing to die. We shouldn't be telling them that. Eric, uh. from the strategy standpoint <laughs> for the administration, like the, the military, the, the strikes against the ISIS, perhaps too little too late. Do you think that Dick Cheney is right to be warning people that it, we do not have a strategy to protect America? Um, I, look, look, yes, I think he's completely right that, that the Obama administration is fumbling the strategy. First, it was, uh, you know, he came out of the box saying that Islam is a, ra is, is a religion of, of uh, peace. And that it, he, he gave one sort of signal with, let's make, let's make sure that there's regime change in Egypt and Libya. But then when it comes to Syria and Iraq, we're not sure where we are. He's all over the board. He's leading from behind. He promised he was going to do that. And he is. He's leading from behind. It's not working. I agree with that part of it. I think it's... Very dangerous. Now, all due respect to the vice president, I get that. But to say something like there, there is on the horizon another 9-11 type attack waiting for us, I, 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 think that's, I think that's very dangerous. But maybe that is it's always true. It, it's wow. always true. It's 12 years after and, and trillions of dollars and th countless thousands of lives and injuries. Wow. And it's no better than it was before. So don't, it's, it's dangerous to say, but maybe, we better start doing something else or we risk another, we're always risking another 9-11. I'm, I'm not speaking, I don't speak for him anymore or, you know, for the administration. <laughs> I'm just thinking that maybe one of the things he is saying is that one of the points of the war on terror was to deny terrorists a safe place to plot and plan. Correct. And that ISIS, as they continue to grow and come in from Syria into Iraq, that that is going to be a place where they're going to be able to do that. Kimberly, do you yeah. think that maybe is what he meant? I think that is what he meant. And you know what? I, I applaud again him being vocal. He could be sitting back and enjoying retirement, but he's not because he feels a sense of obligation and responsibility to this country, I believe, to his dying day. And that is to be admired. I want to hear from him because he was in a position of getting all the intelligence reports and still having access and privy to what's going on internationally, real time reports versus what we're able to get, you know, through the media. And what I'm telling you is I think that he is genuinely concerned. What other motivation could he have? And I think he's right. I think he's accurate, and Put I think we should heed in. his. I didn't say that. That's well, not that's what, what I'm referring to do, specifically Kimberly. to. The, that's no. what he wanted to do the first no, 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 time. No, no, no. That's what he wants I think you have again. to be very specific in terms of what you do from an intelligence gathering operation by having posts. You have to have intelligent posts so that no you can gather information. No one on, on the planet so that we're not caught. Like we were this time. Whoa, what happened? They've gained strength in numbers. And one more point. The, the analysis that we have, the estimates of ISIS strength are 10,000 fighters, 3,000 of which are foreign fighters that come from places like U.S., AU, EU, and the U.K. So when you think about that global impact, that's who's signing up. It's also and people from this country. But they've been signing up like right. that. Listen and, to me. And, and, and being trained, and, and then they're going to come back over here. You know what, Bob? 
What? Equip yourself with the facts and the information of the experts you're, you're, that are out there telling you that this is this happening. This show has made, some, for some reason, oh, wants yeah, to put yeah, this yeah. guy on the air. This guy is not only bad with intelligence, he lied about intelligence, and we're making him into something he's not. I'd rather listen to Howdy you Doody. You try and, and pin yeah, everything on a rock listen, on Dick Cheney, and you are mistaken. He had, he, I think he's American. I don't think he's, he's trying to Obviously, subvert his country, but he wants to stay on TV. He wants to be uh, dumped on Obama because he is one singularly responsible no, for putting us no, into no, a no. terrible I think you wrongly and unfairly Wait. disparage a man who has served his country, oh, and nope. I think your motives in, that you attribute to him are way off base. He's not doing this because he wants to be on TV. Come on. Well, you know what? You could play this game. You could blame Cheney. Or you can blame Bush. You can go before Bush to Clinton. You can go before Clinton to older Bush. Why not go to JFK? JFK first authorized troops in Vietnam. The reason why we went into Iraq was to erase the stain of Vietnam. I blame JFK. <laughs> Dad, how, that there you go. A, there's a nope. leap. No, but that's what I'm saying. There's no ending to this yeah, blame game. That no, leap is no, actually more believable than you saying that Cheney lied. Remember how the media the, the right. media called Vietnam a stigma? I remember the first invasion of Iraq. That was what it was about. It was about trying to erase the stigma of Vietnam. Well, can, yeah, uh, no, okay, Vietnam, uh, we wouldn't have a stigma. Can, 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 can we do this? I believe that. Yes. Yes. Hold on, hold on. Okay, well, that, that was then, and the blame game is stupid and ridiculous, yes. and it's just, you know, How about spotter, do something spotter. now? Do something now, but what? Around the, does anyone at this table... That well, should, I do think we should have hit this, their supply stop. routes. Does because anyone at this... Didn't. Forget that. Put more... Do, you put asked more me for specifics with all Here's due what respect, I'm asking you, one sir, question. And I gave you Would you put more American lives off? on the ground in Iraq, yes or no, around the table? I would put a certain number so of very specific yes. trained intelligence experts to be able to get information would, back. Would you, I, you know what? I'm, first of all, I'm not on trial. Uh, and so I'm not... And I also think yes. it's really interesting. We're, we're sitting around this table with, with no... In, only information we have is what, the inf, is what the administration has given us. Hopefully, they're having a big, rigorous debate in the Situation Room and actually figuring out something to do to push them back since they missed it. On the on the invasion Wait. of Iraq from ISIS. Excuse me, you two say we have to go. What, you, so, want to give Cheney some more time? Why did you do that? Well, I'm actually going to tease Bob so we can go on to the next thing. Okay. Oh, so, ahead right. on the five. What are the odds that seven employees under investigation at the IRS would all have computer?